In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this broken mirror portrait using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Ruin here. And as you can see, this is the final output. It looks really trippy, but actual process is really simple. We just have to copy one photo multiple times and little bit of masking. So to create this photo, let's go to file and open the photo, select open. Now I want uh, that wallpaper aspect ratio and for that I'm going to use crop tool. So select your crop tool and here make sure you have 16 by 9. Uh, then also make sure that delete crop pixel is off so you don't end up deleting the rest of area. Now you can go and adjust the photo however you like. So I think here it looks pretty good. Then go and confirm it. Now we have to apply the mirror brush and for that select your brush tool and in the options go and select the brush. I'm gonna use the second last brush but you can use any of them whatever look you prefer. Now before we apply the brush I'm gonna create new layer so click on the second last icon we have a blank layer. Now here we will apply the brush and in the color make sure you have total white. Now I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger uh, this looks okay then do a click. After that press ctrl T uh, and then hold your shift key and make it bigger until all of the corners they reach to the edge. Uh, so I'm going to go and adjust it a little bit. Looks pretty good but I think cracks are little too many and we have to erase some of them. So go and select your eraser tool and remove some of them. So I'm going to first remove this really big one. Uh, and I think I will remove both of this as well and when you do it right click and make sure that your hardness is like 50-60% so it blends in properly. Perfect. Now we have to apply this photo in six different little boxes that we created using glass brush and to do that activate your layer 0 the original photo then press ctrl J. After that press ctrl T hold your shift key and make the photo a little bit smaller. Uh, so let's start from this little box here and I'm gonna adjust the photo here. Now as you can see a photo is going outside and to fix that we will use layer mask. So go right click on your uh, right click on your lasso tool and select polygon lasso tool the second one. Now using this tool do a click here and then do a click here. Now if it doesn't align with your crack properly that's alright I will show you how to fix that later but do your best to you know trace it. So I'm gonna do one click here and then another click here and then finish the selection. To do it double click and it will turn it into a selection. Once it's done go and click on your layer mask icon. It will remove rest of the area. Now if you wanna adjust this photo inside this little box. All you have to do is uh, click on this little chain and unlink the photo. Then activate the photo itself. Then press Ctrl T and now you can move it around and also make it bigger or smaller. So I think this looks uh, good as it is. Confirm it. Now let's do the whole process again. Uh, activate your layer 0 and then press Ctrl J. So we have copy. Then uh, press Ctrl T. Hold your shift key and make it a little bit smaller. This time we will fix this area. So go and make sure you fill up from edge to edge. Then go and confirm it. Now just like the last time activate your lasso tool. And then go and make selection from edge to edge. So let's click here then here. Once the selection is ready go and click on the layer mask and rest of the portion is gone. Let's unlink the photo activate the actual photo. Press Ctrl T and adjust it again. And using the same technique, I will fill up all of the boxes. So as you can see all the setup is ready and now I'm gonna show you how to fix the little details. For example if we zoom in there is this little bit of piece going outside. This line doesn't align with the crack. So how do you fix all of this? To do that you can click on your move tool then hold your control key and then click on the photo. So let's say we click here 
and the Photoshop will activate the layer like this. Then we have to activate the layer mask, then zoom in and select your brush tool. Now in the brush tool, right click and make sure that, uh, oops, we need regular round brush. So go here and select the round brush first. Uh, then right click and make sure hardness is like 50, 60 percent and make it smaller. Uh, I think the small is enough. Then let's say we have to erase this portion, right? So change to black color and then you can erase this little bit portion from here just like this. And if you want to go and add a little bit of portion, let's say you make a mistake and you want to bring it back. You can change to white color and then you can paint it back just like this. So using this, you can fix this little details and make it align exactly. Let's fix this little portion here. So I'm going to select my move tool, hold my control key and click on the photo. It's activated, then activate the layer mask, get my brush tool. And here with black color, I'm going to erase this little portion from here. So it aligns properly and also a little bit from here as well. Now because we removed this photo from here, as you can see, to align it here, we have little empty area. So I'm gonna select my move tool and control click on this one. So I'm gonna go and activate So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go and activate this photo here. Oops, sorry, this one. Then activate this layer mask and fill in the white color. So we have that photo in that area. And this way you can fix all the details. If you are a beginner and masking seems really confusing, just skip this step. It's completely fine. Okay, so once your all of your setup is ready, you can apply the glass texture. For that, activate your layer 1, then go to File and then select Place Embedded. Uh, select the texture, then place it. Now I don't want any of these bright parts in the texture. So I'm going to hold my Shift key and make it big enough so they go away. And I'm going to place my texture somewhere around here. Looks good, then go and confirm it. Now actually I want this texture under my crack. Okay, better. Now in the blend mode, go and change it to screen. Now it's really strong. So in the opacity, I'm gonna go and make it roughly 50%. Now we have to blend it even more. For that, right click and go to your blending options. And here you see this little blend if options, make sure it's on gray. Then hold your alt key and drag the slider. Don't drag the slider on its own, it won't look good. So hold your alt key and then drag it all the way here. As you can see, now it uh, works really good. Hit OK. So this is uh, without the texture and this is with the texture. And now for the final step, I'm going to add a little bit of gradient. Uh, so go and make sure that your foreground color is black. This is really important, OK? So this color is here black. Then go to your adjustment and select gradient. In the gradient, click here and make sure you select foreground to transparent gradient. Hit OK. In the style, make it radial and make it reverse so it's dark on the outside uh, and then increase your scaling so it fades little bit uh, i think somewhere in like 264 looks good hit ok then in the blend mode of the gradient here change it to soft light and then you can decrease the opacity until it looks nice so i think 74 looks good so with the, uh, without the gradient and with the gradient the final effect is ready and you can also do one more thing it's optional, again, activate your layer 1, which is your crack. Then right click and select blending options. And in the blend option, apply a drop shadow. Now in the drop shadow, make sure opacity is like 70, 80, really dark. But on the distance, it's really low. So we have shadow really, really closer to the cracks. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it like three pixels. Oh, that's more than enough. Let's try two, even better. So then hit okay. Uh, this is uh, with the sh sorry without the shadow and this is with the shadow whatever you like and that's it this is the final output now if you follow this tutorial and create something you can tag me on my instagram to show me your work if you want uh, and that's it 
so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below if you want to check out more videos by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop